What is up guys, it is Labamba365 here and today I will be reviewing the Logitech K400 wireless touch keyboard. And today I'll be filming on my brand new Galaxy S4, hopefully a review to come soon, although there are about a million out there, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do one. Uh, but let's get to it. So the Logitech K400, as you can see, is a wireless keyboard. And it is pretty basic. It just comes with the dongle over there and the extension for the wireless connection that fits into any USB port, as well as the keyboard. Now, the keyboard is something that I've been looking to get for a while now. I have uh, my Asus right there, and I love it. It's great, but you know, every once in a while, I want to operate it from a distance or I'm connecting it to my smart TV. And uh, a side note is that this keyboard also works with most Samsung smart TVs. Although I've been having some difficulty with my um, ES4300, and I probably just got that wrong, so look for an edit there. Okay, so the keyboard, as you can see, has uh, all the keys you'd be looking for. It's got a cool feature up here where if... Uh, you wanted to hold it kind of like a Game Boy or something, you could click that as your uh, left click on your mouse and then use the trackpad with your thumb to navigate around whatever you're doing, if you're web surfing, if you're doing some document writing. The only issue I've had so far with this is that the keyboard itself is pretty small. I mean, I have somewhat big hands, so typing on it gets a little bit difficult, but I'm just getting used to it, so that's probably what it is. The trackpad works great. I've had no issues with that. It comes with a variety of different functions that you can use if you do the two fingers. Uh, you can actually swipe down on pages and whatnot, or scroll down, excuse me. And then it's got a few others that I haven't really looked into because I haven't needed them yet, but really cool. Uh, the click, or the right click and left click work fine. Nothing's broken, I mean, which is great, out of the box. It comes with two AA batteries right out of the box that are, let's see if I can't turn this around, right back here, and they would have two tabs sticking out of them to protect from any uh, corrosion damage. And so on the top here, it's got an on off switch. Let's see if that'll focus. Hey. Uh, and I apologize for the shakiness of this. I was going to try and do it just by hand, and I'm, I'm sticking with that method, so we'll see if it works out. So I picked this up at my local Staples, but you can also get it on Amazon, and I think that the Amazon price, which I'll have a link in the description below, is $27.99, and at Staples they were on sale from the $40 markup to a $29.99. So it's, it's great, I mean it's worth it, and if you have a smart TV, and you're looking for a, or a keyboard that can do both mouse and keyboard functions, then I think this is the way to go for sure. Really inexpensive, so even if it's something that you don't necessarily like, uh, you're definitely getting your bang for your buck, and I would recommend it. Look for a review soon of my use with this with my smart TV, my Samsung smart TV, if I can get that to work. And uh, links in the description below will include the Amazon price, and where to buy it, and maybe the Staples website for more information on if you wanted to just go out and get it. So, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, please hit that like button. If you like me to do some other reviews of, of products, just leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.